Hey everyone, Fox here. Uh, I got in front of me a Rightway GPS. Um, fortunately, I broke the power switch, so I'm trying to ghetto rig a couple of wires right now to get the thing to turn on. Once I do, I want to show you a quick little, really don't even want to call it a hack. Uh, this thing runs Windows CE, and there's a small file called 2wince.exe. And when that file is executed on a Windows CE platform, like this GPS you see here, what it'll do is it'll drop you into a Windows CE desktop. What I did was, there's a 2 gigabyte SD card that came with this unit when the GPS itself, the program resides on that SD card. So we go to our system settings, file manager, and we set the GPS path. Come on. Notice how it says SDMMC to WinCE.exe. So, once we hit the, uh, the GPS, instantly drops you to a Windows CE desktop. And from here, depending on the device's capabilities, whether it's a MIPS, ARM, or, you know, SH3 processor, you can install other applications. So, um, unfortunately, with this device, when you try to install anything, it's not persistent, so you can't save it to the onboard. So I saved a couple of programs to the uh, SD card. Uh, one of these applications is the Core Pocket Media Player. Although it is a bit on the old side, what it allows you to do is play movies, music, and things of the such. So and I have a copy of Ghost in the Shell which is an anime mainly because it's the only thing I had that would fit on an SD card or on this SD card it requires a little bit of buffer tweaking but as with any video playback on a device that's you know only a couple of hundred megahertz it, it will take some setting uh, get out of this and then I've also installed a couple of extra programs that allow me to do things like uh, read PDF documents and uh, you can install TomTom Tom if you like that uh, as a better GPS. Pretty much this is a pocket PC. You can do whatever you want as a pocket PC. Uh, unfortunately this doesn't have any sort of um, active sync connection and no networking, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, no USB support yet. I haven't figured out a way to hack into that yet. But if your GPS does have Bluetooth and it does have a USB connection, you can use active sync as a network connection so you can do things like browse the web and you can, uh, I don't know, instant message, you can play back videos, YouTube, all of that fun jazz from a little $50 GPS. If you notice right here on the desktop, out of the box, it comes with the onboard GPS application, comes with uh, Microsoft Word Viewer, it comes with a PDF Viewer, comes with an Excel Viewer, uh, a Microsoft PowerPoint. I've also added applications that allow me to do uh, multiple formats for like reading text files, ebooks, things of the such, JPEG uh, slideshow, and all that jazz. I mean, really, it's it's a pocket PC for 50 bucks, and it also seconds as a GPS. You can also um, install different types of keyboards but um, I don't have access to the control panels to set up certain things like uh, a lot of the Resco products or the pocket candy products uh, this is somewhat old and I'm not too familiar with Windows CE I primarily bought this as a device that I could use to uh, hack around and figure out how to well muck around with Windows CE so for 50 bucks out of the box you can do quite a bit of stuff and with just this one little two Windows CE application, you can drop straight down to the um, uh, Windows CE desktop and start installing uh, alternate applications and do whatever the hell you want with it. All right, everyone. Happy hacking.